Really quickly, before this video gets started, I want to give you a quick reminder that I have a $1.25 million shark card giveaway going on right now for the latest vehicle to be added into Grand Theft Auto Online and a little bit more. So check that out if you're interested. It's happening on my Twitter account. I'll leave a link to it in the description and I'll be announcing the winner sometime this weekend. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what happens when modded money is dropped on you in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this seems like a relatively simple concept, something that doesn't need explaining. You get money, of course. Well, on the surface, that's what it looks like, but there is a much deeper web that we need to go into here that can help you avoid situations like this, avoid innocent bans, and a whole lot more. So modded money has been around in Grand Theft Auto Online essentially since day one, uh, since players were able to access you know, the older generation console cheat menus and hacks and stuff like that, PS3, Xbox 360, you know, people have been getting money drops really since day one. And Rockstar has done their best to try and prevent stuff like this from happening, but it always seems to pop up. In their patch notes, they always say like, you know, we're working to improve our anti-cheat. Well, I don't think there's ever been one patch where like I haven't seen a lack of money drops. So what happens when you get modded money dropped on you? Now in this video, we're not gonna be talking about the intent of getting modded money dropped on you because it could happen accidentally. I mean, modders in the lobby can pretty much do whatever they want. If they wanna drop modded money on you, they can do that as often or as little as they want. Or this could be a service you requested, you asked for, you paid for, whatever the case is. So yes, on the surface, you're going to get more money. That's pretty clear, that's pretty obvious. Whatever that amount is, that really doesn't matter for this video. However, let's use an analogy. Rockstar is like a bank and we are the bank's clients. So whenever you complete a contact mission or a race or a heist, you get money from the bank, which is Rockstar. And because Rockstar is able to give you that money directly, they're able to track it, they're able to make sure that it's good to go, so it's clear and you can spend whatever you want on that money. However, if a third party comes around, like a modder or a hacker, and gives you money that has not been authorized by Rockstar, they automatically start tracking it. That's right, that money is tracked. So even though Rockstar in-game doesn't separate money, it just goes into one bank account, they basically have three types of cash you can acquire. Modded money that you get from unauthorized sources, money that you get from the bank or Rockstar from doing jobs or heists, and then money that you purchase from shark cards. So for example, if you were to lose all of your money or you were to get your account suspended, you would still have the shark card money. Like Rockstar wouldn't take cash away from you. So even though, again, it's not separated in game, Rockstar track it as if it is separated. However, getting back to the modded money, again, we need to talk about that that money is being tracked. So the second it goes into your bank account, it's gonna be tracked by Rockstar that, hey, this is money that you got not from us, from an unauthorized source. So the logical thing that I know a lot of people would do is, is as soon as they get that money, they are going to want to spend it. By their thinking, they say, if I spend it, Rockstar won't know, you know that I got modded money. That's not the case. Because that modded money has trackers on it from Rockstar, they also get to see what you buy. So if you buy you know, an apartment, a bunch of supercars, that apartment those supercars are all now going to be red flagged. In fact, it's probably going to make things a whole lot worse for you. So not only is the money you received in your account tracked, your account is probably being flagged and now you've bought things that are also going to send off more red flags for Rockstar to ultimately check out. And that's where their anti-cheater system is going to kick in. And a couple of things are gonna happen. Number one, you're either gonna get a suspension or a ban based off of how many times you've done this in the past or how severe they might determine it. Or number two, you're going to lose out on all your money, probably gonna have your RP rank reset too. That's the sort of screen you see when it says your RP and rank and money have been adjusted. So those are the two outcomes that are obviously gonna happen and you don't want that to occur. Now, I can't say for 100% certainty that all modded money is tracked like this. I would say about 95% is. And the reason we're talking about this topic is because over the last couple days and weeks, we've been talking about modders and hackers being shut down by Rockstar, scams in Grand Theft Auto Online where players are promising to get players money. And because of that, a lot of you guys have been asking me what happens if you do get modded money. So let's talk about that now. What happens if you get modded money 
and it's something you necessarily don't want. This happens again all the time. You could go AFK for a minute and then boom, you come back and you've got $20 million in your bank account that you didn't have before. So luckily for us, and I'm going to assume that the majority of you guys that are watching this video are playing on either PC, Xbox One, or PS4. All of them have built-in video capture devices. So on Xbox, you have game capture, PS4, you have game capture, and on PC, there's a ton of free programs that you can install that will capture your screen you know, easily. And again, it's also free, so you don't have to spend any money. So if this does happen to you, you're going to want to immediately report this to Rockstar. Uh, they're the only ones that can fix something like this. If you go to them and say, hey, someone put X amount of modded money, be sure to tell them the amount. They are going to remove it from your account, but two things are likely going to occur. Number one, Rockstar is going to keep your account safe, so you're not going to get any bans, any suspension, or any punishment. And number two, as I've seen in many cases, oftentimes they'll reward you for coming clean like this. They'll give you a bonus like $100,000 or $250,000 for you know fixing up this problem. So it is something that you can do that can actually be quite beneficial. Now this has only happened to me once, but I can promise you it worked. I signed in one day after maybe not logging on for a day or so, and I had noticed that I had been put into a bad sport lobby. Uh, and that I actually had a good chunk of my money removed. And what I ended up doing was contacting Rockstar Support. And I ended up recording a little bit of a screenshot. I showed them like my stats that said, you know, I had been doing everything pretty normally. And they returned my account to normal. So I'd say that back in the day, probably on PS3 and Xbox 360, it was probably a little bit safer to get modded money because Rockstar didn't have as advanced anti-cheater system and stuff stalled. And obviously with the PS3 and Xbox 360, those consoles were so jailbroken. There were so many different ways to get modded money. Now on PC, PS4, Xbox One, there's only a couple ways and Rockstar pretty much have all of them tracked. So if you're doing that, you're gonna be putting your account seriously at risk here. So that's what happens if you receive modded money or you get a money drop on you in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's definitely more than what you just see on the surface, just money going into your bank account. There's a lot of different transactions and tracking processes that Rockstar have, and you definitely need to be careful. Even if it's a small amount, you'd rather play it safe than sorry and have Rockstar accuse you of being a hacker than coming clean and getting rid of the X amount of money that Rockstar has accused you of getting. And on top of that, Rockstar are handing out like free money in bunches. So there's almost no need to have modded money. I mean, we got done with the guest list stuff, uh, which gave out free money. We just got done with the after hours Facebook live streams, which were giving out millions and millions of dollars. And now Rockstar is doing a end of summer celebration where if you log in every single day this week, you're gonna get $1.15 million for doing absolutely nothing. So there's really no need to risk your account, all your hard work and everything you've saved up for right now, uh, just to sort of take the easy way out uh, for some short-term success. Because like I mentioned earlier in the video, even if you do get the chance to you know, buy the car or the apartment, it's not like Rockstar loses the ability to take those away. I mean, they're pulling all the strings here. They can remove anything uh, whenever they want. So that right there is Jordan. So that right there is sort of a PSA given all the events that have been going on the last couple of days, last couple of weeks of what happens if you get modded money dropped on you in Grand Theft Auto Online. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Obviously the easiest way to avoid modded money is just to not play in lobbies where something like that could happen. So that's likely public sessions. Now I know that's not completely avoidable. And in order to sell, in order to do some things, you do have to go in public lobbies. But if you just notice anything fishy or you notice anything strange, just hop out of there, get a new session. At the end of the day, that will pretty much solve all your problems um, and you won't have to deal with any of this going forward in the future. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you ever received modded money in Grand Theft Auto Online? This isn't an omission of guilt or anything like that, but let me know your stories in the comments down below. Have you received modded money? What did you do? Did you contact Rockstar Support? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. 
or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.